Hey, what's going on, guys? Long time no see. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Uniclear. More in particular, we're going to be taking a look at Londrakia, which was available in at Frosty Faustings, which was a tournament that happened about a week or two ago. So we got a ton of information, including all the information on the special moves and on the regular normals and how he actually functions with his unique abilities. So we're going to be taking a look at a Google Doc that was made right after Frosty Faustings. So with all the information that people have collected, they made this effort to put it in a spreadsheet, all organized and nice. I'll be linking it in the description down below if you guys want to check it out yourselves but we did take a look at it the other day on stream so this video is going to be us taking a look at it going through all the normals and all the specials and learning about Londrakia in great detail right afterwards we see some gameplay to see him in action and actually have the knowledge to know what's going on now uniclear is almost upon us i can't wait to play him let's take a look at this in-depth overview of the Londrakia's gameplay yeah! So this is the dock. This is this is freaking awesome, man. Uh, trade explanation. So it goes over everything. Wow. Hell yeah, dude. This dock is dope. Whoever made this, shout outs to them. Um, so the traits. This is it. Default estate. Opponent has frost. Opponent is currently frozen. Opponent has already been frozen in this combo. It cannot be frozen again. Oh, that's cool. So it gives you four different uh, states for what is currently going on with the frost state a uh, trait uh other than that that's what you see like the icicle particles on the actual character that's how you know that they are uh in uh, frost state and then when they get hit by uh by a frost applying move they're frozen which is that's the most interesting thing about Lundrakia right now in my opinion is the f the, the the frost mechanic um Since significantly less than Biakra's Web Trap or Comrade's Blood Prison, Frost does not go away over time. Okay. Um, Frost can be removed by making Landrake a block. He does not have to have to have Vorpal or by hitting him. Cool. So that's... It's good that we now know that it's not just by hitting him, but also by making him block, which is nice. Um, break the ice himself. The ground tech after a small amount of time. Preventing potential re-stand re re resets. Oh, okay. If Londrake does not hit the opponent to break the ice himself, they'll ground tech after a small amount of time, preventing potential restand resets. Okay, so the restands is not necessarily possible. Maybe it is, but it's not super easy to do, possibly. So it's good for confirming and confirming stray hits like from frost moves and such. So that's good to know. Frost is applied to both hit and on block from the following moves: 6B, 2 2 uh, the 2 2 series, the 2 3 6 series, which is the projectile. And then the EX Ice Pillar. You get Frost whenever you block or get hit by any of these moves, which is nice. Wow. Normals, 5A, 5B. The multi slat or the multi rapid thrust, 5B, that's freaking dope. This is my favorite button so far. This is definitely my favorite button. Uh, four quick hits should come up to 5C at max range. Lovely. 5BB, which is when he finishes it off with a thrust. Nice follow up. So, follow up. 5B that causes a wall bounce sends them far away so conversions might be weird without using any of the specials so 5C um, should be nice but 5BB is the one that uh, wall bounces by the way but 5C should be nice because it it uh, can convert off of the max range 5B which is nice uh, reaches to the tip of the longest ice pillar should combo at max distance from 4 into 4C uh, we'll take a look at 4C in just a moment 2A uh, does not hit low reportedly 6 frames okay Two A is not a low. That's unfortunate. Two B, yep. Oria Two B hits low. Oh shoot! It's like an Oria Two B, but better. It's probably a lot longer too than than Two B. Oria's Two B is not a uh, not a low. So that's that's nuts. Two B is crazy. Um, Two C long sweep, long startup. Opponent text early, so probably no Two C. Um, W Two A. Oh. Uh, is that reverse B 2A? Yeah, probably reverse B 2A into 2C. Uh, anyways, 6B sends out the staff. Slow start off. The hitbox extends slightly past the staff. Very plus on block applies frost. This is the one where he summons an ice pillar from the actual uh, staff and puts them in block stun. Applies frost. That's pretty cool. 4C. This is, oh, this is awesome. So this is similar to what we were watching before. 
That move where he steps back and he summons a pillar in front of him. Similar to how Phonon does it with her 4B. That's sweet. Uh, it's a good combo tool to confirm max range 5B or 5C. Not rebeatable. This is not rebeatable. Which is nice. Because that would be... Dude, if this was rebeatable, that would be nuts. And then 4CC, it ends off with an overhead. Overhead Ice Pin, similar to Hilda's. Low Head Stun, special cancelable. And then you can cancel into a, a special move. So if they're, they have a Frost applied, you can do 4CC. If it hits the overhead, then you can do a projectile. And that's it. They get frozen. That's it. Free confirm off of an overhead. That's cool. 3C, main anti-air button can rebeat about high 3, 3C height. That's really good. <laughs> High 3C is really freaking good. Okay. Uh, 6-6-B, which is a running move. High vertical hitbox. Cool. That's just a regular running button. 6-6-C. Uh, this has is multi-hitting. Two hits, actually. Covers less space than his dash fight. That's 6-B. Cool. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. He'll have OS. Yeah, that's right. He has a 3C attire, which means that he has... Uh, <coughs> throw tech uh, and uh, so basically he can blow up uh, assaults and throw teching all in one button one button sequence which is the OS that's pretty cool that's awesome JA oh wait a minute did we miss something no I don't think so JA which is fast you know it, it, it's got a good uh, vertical hitbox as well uh, assault JACS is not an instant overhead oh it's not that fast actually off of Assault, I should say. It's not like Phonon or Mika or uh, Wagner. So it's not like that. JB. Circular Swipe. Nothing much else to say. Yep. JC. This is the button that I thought was J2C, but it's not J2C. It's JC. Period. Uh, double Hitting Ice Shard comes out quick. If any uh, Unknown if any hits are overhead, but can be charged. Causing a ground bounce. So if you charge it, so if you do JC fully held, um, I imagine you have more blocks done. As well as, if it hits, it has a ground bounce and it has more uh, more hits. Imagine from like two to three or something like that. Excuse me. Okay, I'll take a look at that for sure, Rook. Thank you. Um, so that's 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 pretty freaking awesome, man. That that button is sexy. That's pretty sexy. Uh, J3B, which is more of a. Uh, a uh, jumping move that can hits that has a more horizontal hitbox, which is nice. It may look like phone on J4B, but actually hits the opponent at the end. Can be charged up. The effects were not shown. Okay, cool. J4B. I'm sorry, J3B, which is nice. That's another look at it right here when you charge it up. That's pretty cool. Okay. Specials, we got Smart Steer. Uh, oh, the Smart Steer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw. We saw the throw earlier. It's pretty cool. Force function. It's a DP. Can can choose not to do the follow up. Massive vertical reach. Yeah, that DP is pretty crazy. Doesn't say that if. It, oh wait a minute. Ca causes a ground bounce. Can continue the combo with continuum shift. Air unblockable cannot be CS on whiff. Good to know. Good to know. That means you can't do it for free and get out of it uh, if it whiffs. Okay. Massive vertical reach. That's good to know. Holy crap. Anti-airs with this, too. Maybe. It's probably not that fast, though. Um, after that, Frozen Spire, which is this projectiles. This one applies Frost, and it also freezes the opponent. So whenever you do apply the Frost, and if you get a straight conversion into projectile, you get a free uh, free uh, pickup, combo pickup. So the A version is quicker. B takes more time. B version can be charged for, de uh, for detonation. C version is the fastest. Uh, that's EX. EX projector, I imagine. Circular step. This is Rekka. This is the part that we need to pay most attention to because there's a lot of stuff to this. Three part Rekka. Multiple follow ups that seem interchangeable. Uh, chargeable after the second Rekka. It's possible to connect 5B. Okay, but not after the third. Or at least harder. Uh, Rekkas can also side switch the opponents. I imagine depending on which strength you do. 214A hits low. Rest of the Rekka seem to be mids. No metered version. Oh, so 214A, that Rekka is a low. I'm wondering if the if there's a held version that's an overhead. Because I think there is a 
held version of the Rekka, um, which is the second hit. And that might be an overhead. Maybe. I'm not sure. But I saw in the footage that might be possible. So, since they look a bit confusing, here's the timestamp for the demonstration. They show how soccer step works. Update later. Yeah, and this is the link to that. That's pretty awesome. 214C can jump over projectiles, but no invul. Okay. Uh, 22X, which is the ice flower. Lundrake summons a delayed ice shot. Does not reach full screen. A and B versions are different on timing. Uh, Lond recovers? Hmm. Oh, the timing Lundrakia recovers. We call him Lond now? Hmm. Okay. C version summons the shots from a fixed distance. That goes backwards. More shots. Yeah, basically, if it's... It can be put behind the opponent, depending on the spacing on as to where you where you are on the screen. So if you're full screen, you're, you're gonna, it's going to be right in front of them. It's going to shoot towards Lundrakia. But if it's right behind them, then they're kind of sandwiched, which can be kind of nuts. Considering the fact that this ice flower, if you're frost, if you have frost, it can freeze you if you get hit. So he can kind of dance around you and he can mix you up and convert off of it for free. Wow. Uh, the snowflake can be erased by hitting it before it fires. Good to know. Um, all versions apply frost too. Cool. So that's, that can be really good oaky. Just uh, good oaky stuff going on here. Six, uh, Six two three C frozen bind C only move the okay so wait a minute so there's no two two C it's six two three C okay interesting okay <laughs> uh, summons the tracking ice pillar oh no I'm sorry that's this one I'm like what the hell no that's two two C don't worry about that frozen bind it's this one right here cool ice pillar C only move summons a tracking ice pillar similar to Carmine two two C that applies frost. Like his frost-related moves, more damage if it freezes the opponent. Okay, so there's that. And I'm thinking that this, if it you block it, you just have a ton of blocks done. Which makes this move super freaking dumb. Great. IW, uh, infinite worth. Tracks anywhere on screen, unknown if it's air blockable. Probably it is air blockable, because that would be freaking pork. So it's like Hilda's. Nice. Uh, infinite worth e uh, EX. Uh, big damage, super, nothing much else to say. And then there's the footage of that. So let's take a look at the uh, at two matches. And let's take a look to see any of the stuff that we just barely looked at here in the dock will show up here. Oh, this Evo Japan too, huh? Okay. Side switch kick on net play. Yeah, yeah. Side switch kick on net play. Yeah, yeah. Good luck blocking that. You're right. All right, let's see now with this newfound knowledge if we can see some some things that we couldn't before. 5B. Nice. That's the Rekka. Love it. Holy crap, man. You can literally just let it rip and just continue dancing. And it'll autocorrect. Look at that. He did that, and there's the third part. <laughs> you could probably CS that into 2C projectile. I love that 4C, man. Holy lord. Oh, there's Frost. Frost is gone. DP. Air, air unblockable, by the way. And there is the Frost. This is what makes him so freaking interesting, man. Bam. Get frozen. And free conversion. Damn, he straight up went for infinite worth, huh? Straight up? Okay, I got you. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's the J3B. J3B charged up. Wall bounce. Bam. J3B charged up. Pretty cool. Conversion. Ending it off with uh, Rekka. Frost. Oh, boy. Nice combos. Damn, at that point, he could have uh, done a projectile to freeze him. Well, let me see this again. This whole sequence. He's got Frost on, 5B. Bam, okay. And then he gets the overhead. That's 4CC. And 4CC is special cancelable, so he could have done a uh, uh, projectile. 5B. Oh, that's 6B right there. 
Block stun out the wall. Look at how much block stun that thing has, man. And then he gets the overhead. Assault. Again. Oh, my God, dude. You have to, like, I don't know what you have to do with that. You definitely have to, like, jump out. You have to interrupt him somehow because it has a lot of startup. So you can definitely interrupt him there. Wow, he throws the Rose Dudley style. This man is freaking crazy cool. This man's a gentleman. Wow, this man throws a freaking Rose like Dudley. Oh, man, that's sick. That's sick. <laughs> nice touch. All right, Wagner. We get to see some Wagner stuff, too. Hey, lore fight, huh? Yeah, that special cancel to Rekka's. Ice Flower, which applies Frost. Oh, man, he should have gone for the projectile. Man, freaking Force Function. Whoa, wait a minute here. Look at that. Apply the Frost. Do another one. So the B version can, can uh, since it has a longer startup and it has less recovery, you can confirm <coughs> the B projectile into A projectile. And get a freeze right here. Bam. Got frost. And then the A projectile. Bam. Just like that. Free conversion. Oh, there's the flower. Woo, boy. I like that, man. Set play galore. A lot of scary stuff this character has. All right. She's frosted. Damn, got him. Oh, this Wagner doesn't know. Oh, no. He don't know. Maybe he's a computer. Got the conversion. That's the cross-up. Gets the flower. Tech back, actually. There's probably setups where they're unscapable with 2-2-C. Two -two That's the overhead, I'm pretty sure. So, from here. Yeah, that is definitely an overhead. So the charged up the, the the charged up version <coughs> excuse me of the second Rekka is an overhead. Wow. Wow. Yeah. This character's kind of kinda nice. Wow. Yeah, no, you have to you have to charge it. You have to charge it to get the overhead. Okay, so that's Londrakia. That's that was super helpful. That doc is awesome. Shout out to anybody who did that. Uh, I am excited to play this character now. I know a lot more about him, and now that I do, uh, this character is looking kind of cheap. <laughs> with the with the frost mechanic and the cross up like Rekas, like net play, this character is gonna be all over net play. I can already I can already see it. This character is gonna be all over net play. Uh, and who knows? We might see some actual Londrakias in tournaments too. He's got some pretty cheap things. Uh, that frost mechanic really just it's still it's so good and it's it's a mechanic that can really separate him from the rest of the cast and make him unique which is cool and uh, not just that but he also has some moves that has a ton of blocks done that can't you can't move from great normals as well and I set play it seems like as well with the flower oh my goodness I'm gonna really like this character so, I'm excited for, for Uniclear now, man.